An explosive new report from ESPN is exposing the alleged sex crimes committed by a former Penn State football player more than 40 years ago. According to the article, he was a serial rapist and was eventually found guilty and thrown behind bars for the crimes. Till now, though, very few have known that any of this took place. Royce Jones is here with more on the expose that has people asking who was Todd Hodney. Royce. Well, Ken, Kim, Todd Hodney was a number of things as detailed in this ESPN article. He was a star athlete, about 240 pounds, and competed in the Sugar Bowl in 1979. He passed away of cancer in 2020 at age 61. But for those familiar with his dark impulses, notably those who survived them, Hodney will forever be remembered as one of the most dangerous criminals some have ever encountered. This series of violent sexual assaults took place far before the Jerry Sandusky scandal was brought to light. And before we continue, some of these details may be triggering for survivors of sexual assault. In one graphic excerpt from the article, one of his victims details, his, details her hair-raising run-in with Hadi. He apparently tracked her down via her ad in the paper for a new college roommate, hiding in her bedroom with the lights off, then grabbing her from behind, blindfolding her and binding her hands with her own clothing, then threatening her with a knife before raping her. According to ESPN, there are at least 12 known survivors of Hadi's, and from what we gathered from Penn State, some of those victims were fellow students, while others lived near his hometown. Hodney would eventually be convicted of criminal sexual assault in 1978 based on fingerprint evidence, a traced phone call, and victim testimony. Hodney was also expelled from Penn State University. And today, a university spokesperson told us, quote, as a society, we've made tremendous progress in the past 43 years in our understanding of sexual violence, its consequences, how to care for victims, and ways to work toward preventing it. Penn State strives every day to make the university as safe as it can possibly be. The university also expressed its deepest sympathy for each of those victims who are still struggling with the pain that Hodney caused them. Ken.